Hello and uh, welcome back to Ikmal Studio. I'm Azadin. In the last video, we put uh, color and shade on our object uh, in the scene. And as I said in the last video, we're gonna do the ground in uh, this video. So the ground we're gonna do a little bit differently. We're gonna paint uh, over uh, just to make uh, to have different shade in different area. So quickly, I'm just gonna go through a little bit about um, uh, the tool, uh, the painting tool. If you never used it and you're a really beginner but if if you know how to use it just uh, forward uh, the video or skip uh, a little bit so uh, this is your for example your object in the scene if you want to paint over you just go to this menu take paint and then you get these two menu so one is for your um, uh, mop uh, and this one you just your object uh, you paint over so if i try to paint over now um, let me turn on the shortcut uh, again. Sorry, I'm keep forgetting this one before starting. I should do this before starting the recording. So if I paint over, look at here, it's gonna give you the message which telling you missing texture because we didn't add any uh, texture to our uh, object. So I think you can't do it from here new or from here. You just go to this one and select base color and then you can change this one depend uh, the resolution you're looking for for us it's low poly so you can keep it as it is or you can make it higher so this is just an example and then you just click uh, ok and now if you paint over you should get the color so now you have all your color here and then you choose do you can paint over your your uh, object uh, in the scene so in here if you want to see uh, what you're doing here uh, you should be able to see as well so now uh, each side of the cube is uh, unwrapped uh, in this side and this is your map you can see what you are doing uh, so for example let me paint over uh, this side different color uh, so that's gonna be yeah on this side so if I try different color in each side uh, you see what I am mean about this so if you're just um, really beginner, uh, this is gonna give you an idea about uh, painting. So each face is gonna have different color. So this is what you're gonna do. Uh, and other thing, don't forget to save this image because if you close your blender and you didn't save this, uh, you're gonna miss, uh, you don't have this uh, anymore and you're gonna lose it. So it's very important to save and save your uh, image to some way which is uh, it, it's good to have it in the same folder where you have your uh, project uh, saved in so when you whenever you open it it's easy to find your your texture so let me quickly close this one uh, because we don't want this and then we're gonna go back to our scene so this is what we're gonna do i'm gonna select our uh, plane and then go into this menu texture paint and we have similar thing which is pink uh, uh, ground so what we need to do we just need to add a texture so I'm gonna call it base I'm gonna make this one a little bit higher but you can keep it like this uh, if, if your scene is not uh, realistic and you don't want uh, any detail and then just press ok and now I'm gonna name this one so I'm going to call it ground and now what what you can do we just paint over uh, our scene so you can paint on both sides this side and this side as well so let me try to fill in one color first and then we're going to start from there so I'm going to choose uh, just I don't want to be saturated color so let me try this You can see on this side as well. Sorry, the shortcut is uh, being turned off. Maybe it was the other one. So you can see the shortcut here I'm using, uh, just in case if you want. So you can paint over this side or on this side as well. And this is your brush. So this is uh, the reduce, for example, the, the paint uh, size. And if you have uh, 
you don't have a powerful machine maybe this is gonna slow down so be patient and uh, uh, don't rush to to do this so I'm just gonna first fill in uh, one color overall and then we're gonna decide um, different shade for different area so you just choose the color you want and it's um, really good as well to check uh, your uh, shade for example game back here and check in different uh, light environment uh, how how your colors look like so uh, but we're gonna decide this later on in when we finished so came back to the paint here and then we're gonna carry on doing painting over so I'm gonna have a little bit dark one in the low area and then a little bit light on the top area so let me try make this one a little bit darker and then make the brush smaller so we just paint in this area and then you're gonna paint in between as well so to make it a little bit uh, blend with uh, each other the color but just don't be scared just paint over because uh, wherever you you want to change into different color you you just uh, paint over again uh, and be patient when you're doing this so uh, I think now it's, it's clear like you know what what you need to do so even if I um, speed up in this part you should be able to do yours uh, uh, very easily okay So just put different shade and blend them together so uh, we don't see the sharp line uh, when the color next uh, each other. And that should be okay so let me make a little bit uh, lighter so let one more next to it so just fade in uh, because I want to blend together I don't want to have this sharp line like this I think it's looking good And then the top part, I think I'm going to give a little bit different and lighter color, so make a smaller one. Maybe a little bit more saturated. And then I'm going to blend them as well uh, with maybe different shade. So let me make this 100 at the top. This is uh, up to you. It just just think like uh, you're painting over uh, a canvas like an artist, and be creative. Because there's many options. This is low poly, and we're not doing um, a high detail. So probably it's gonna be really uh, simple scene and easy to to do and to follow. So now just another shade to blend these color a little bit together. Just like this. It's gonna be nearly done. So I think we have done okay. And in this part, I want to give it different uh, color because this is where uh, probably 
most of the time they're working on so can I give it different shade in this area because there's gonna be no much green on this area But just like a walkway and let me give it different shade as well in this area make it a little bit darker maybe that's too much so I'm gonna undo that and this should be okay then we need to blend this area together as well so we don't want to have any sharp line then I'm gonna make this one a little bit brighter for the middle and then I'm gonna just reduce this one the strength to make it less so this way you can't blend the color and remove the sharp uh, area where they blend in together like this And sometimes make it even less just to have a little bit let me make this one all the way out just in case maybe we're never gonna use it but just in case if we need to so then make less and then blend together and have some darker one and let me make the strength a little bit higher like this and it should be fine so I'm gonna make the strength less and then put some dark one here as well so I'm just blending the, this edge um, with the green this color with the green so sometimes if you make the size bigger like this for blending it uh, work better and have smooth uh, blending with other color just like this it's too big let me make a little bit smaller and it should be good to go And you can zoom in here if you want like you know to have a more control over to do things here but I think uh, we done pretty good job let's make this one smaller like this one a little bit dark color just some little bit darker color here in low area and uh, where they have shadow so just to have a little bit more contrast 
uh, in the scene. I think that should be fine. So you can't paint even in here if you want. And then if you want to blend this together, just make the strength less and then paint uh, over next the where they blend in together and that should uh, be fine. Like this. I don't want to spend too much time uh, doing this and I think I'm happy with uh, the ground now so let me save this image don't forget this it's very important so I'm gonna save it just we not gonna lose this so put in here material I'm gonna just call it ground PNG and that should be fine then going back to layout so this is what we have so far uh, let me turn off this uh, grid uh, from here so we to be able to see a little bit better so you're going to object uh, uh, property and then uh, viewport display and then wireframe so and then now you can look at your scene in different environment and uh, different lighting so you see and then you decide so now we have uh, a shining is on our uh, ground so we need to fix that as well so if we go into material and select our ground which we have uh, this let me call it ground and then if we just make it and shiny like uh, roughness just put it a little bit down like this so we have a better view of uh, how our scene is uh, look like the color but uh, we will decide this when we light in the, the scene because that's the only time you should uh, check because when when you paint over and you don't have right light and when the lights change the color change as well so that's why you have sometimes to um, forward and backward to, to see um, uh, how your scenes look like and I think I'm gonna do this uh, pole as well so just painting over the pole as well because I don't want to be uh, similar to this one uh, which is we have a bigger uh, rock so but I think I'm gonna do that uh, in the next uh, video so I will see you in the next video Hello and welcome back to Ekmanai Studios, uh, Amar Zadin. Uh, in the last part we uh, paint over the ground, uh, we give it the material and uh, in this part as I said I'm gonna do uh, our little pool here. So we're gonna do similar technique uh, as we done for the ground. Uh, what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna remove uh, this uh, material which is just uh, similar to the stone. So we let's remove this one. And I'm gonna turn on the shortcut just in case if you want to follow the shortcut they are down here uh, I'm gonna give a new material uh, just call this one pool and we don't want to be shiny too much so like this and first uh, in this because our our ground it was kind of flat so it's already unwrapped uh, uh, kind of uh, really well but if you go in this uh, like pole and let me add new material as we done in the last scene so you go here and add create new texture material uh, we still have our ground here so I'm gonna give a new for the stone base color I'm gonna 2000 we still have same size from the last when we done for the ground so i'm going to keep it as it is you can make it lower or higher um, uh, as you wish so if i paint uh, over now just i'm going to make any color just to see 
so you see it's just painting all the way around even I'm painting just over here this is because of um, the unwrap oh, so let me go to the same one here because uh, it's like the face is here attached to the face on this side as well in in the UV map so what we need to do we, we need to have a better UV map to be able to paint over um, and have a more control so what we're gonna do we're gonna go to UV editing like this in here if we select uh, the pool we will be gonna be able to so select this one to be able to select everything like this and this is our uh, unwrap map so uh, there's um, few way you can do uh, and find the best uh, result so if you go to in this UV and unwrap which is already unwrapped like this but there's other option for you here so uh, like a cube uh, cylinder or sphere but let's try from the view like this you just um, unwrapping based on the view but I think uh, usually uh, this option work very well so let's give a try to this one and gonna keep it as it is so it just put all the pieces let's try this way so we have to go back to our texture paint like this and let's try paint over to see how it's gonna be so I'm just gonna make any color just to see you you can see we have a better control and we just painting over uh, the area we want which is really good and you see our unwrap so uh, they are from far from each other but in here they are next uh, in each other so this is how you unwrap your your map so I'm gonna undo this and then just make unsaturated color so basically I'm gonna give a little kind of grayish first which is kind of similar what we have now yep yes yeah, painting over but just uh, the color are very close to uh, the one you have already so let me make a little bit dark gray uh, down there just uh, make a little bit different kind of shade and the strength sorry I forget about this that's why it's doing like uh, less so if you make this one 100 then um, that should uh, be fine so now if I paint you see the the full strength of the color so let me make it a little bit higher and you don't want to be that kind of orangey So yeah, now we're gonna make it dark and just paint over. So we have a better view. So let me quickly. Um, I think that's that's okay. And don't forget to save uh, the image as well, uh, our uh, texture, because that's uh, really important to have. Uh, otherwise when you lose it, it's gonna go so pull just gonna call it pull text should be fine just to recognize any name should be fine so let me go back to this layout and this is what we have so if you want to have a different color darker as I said, depend on the uh, light sh uh, you have in your scene, it's gonna look different. And uh, maybe overall, you will decide for all the rest of the color, it's gonna be easy to change at that time. And for our uh, water, as well, I want to fix uh, this part, so I'm gonna uh, add our water color as well. So let me first change the material for the water a little bit 
so we want to make a transition like this because we want to have a see through and when animating we're gonna uh, give it uh, uh, the wave as well uh, but for this one we just give a can I give it a um, little bit material and make it material a little bit better so just to make it look like water and the color depend uh, whatever color you choose um, depend on your lighting and scene and environment so all let's make different so I'm gonna keep it as it is and I'm gonna fix this part of uh, the pool and we're gonna end up uh, this video so uh, you can stop from here if you want because this is something very simple uh, I'm just gonna fix this part if yours is fine uh, you should be good and you don't have to watch uh, what I'm doing here because this is uh, where when we modeling this we should have uh, looked at it and uh, fixed it but we missed it all that time so there is no problem you can fix any time and I think that's okay yep that should be fine so we have done uh, the pull as well and next part uh, maybe we're gonna go for uh, lighting our scene and thinking about uh, overall uh, the color um, maybe if they need to change we're gonna change them and now we we done the hard work so uh, any color you want to change so you just select uh, the the object and you should be able to change uh, the color from here so um that's be simple i believe so let me as, as you can see it's very simple to change any color you you want to change so from the stone any stone which this color been applied is gonna change automatically so this is different one and maybe just a little bit darker you can can't see which one is being affected by this color if you make it like kind of dark black you can't see which is uh, very simple to change and let's uh, see what you're gonna do in the next uh, video for our light in the scene so see you in the next video